we're gonna put the DJI mic through some real world tests and see if it's really worth the hype. Now this video is sponsored by DJI and we are gonna put this mic to the test, but first let's unbox it. Here we go, we got the uh, charging case and then you got the uh, USB-C charging port uh, in the back. And uh, the charging case has a nice uh, rugged feel to it. You get two transmitters, so if you wanna do an interview with someone else and you wanna do it wirelessly, well you can actually use it for the both of you, whether you are using a lav mic connected to the transmitters or use the built-in mics on the transmitters as well. So yeah, I like it. Also included are two heavy duty windscreen muffs to reduce that nasty wind sound, an audio cable to connect the receiver to your camera, a USB-C cable to charge the charging case as well as connect the transmitters to your computer and a soft pouch to carry everything. So right now you're hearing audio from this transmitter. There is a windscreen on it and it is quite windy here in downtown Dallas. So it's a, actually a really good test to see um, how well this mic performs. So here we go, test, test, one, two, three, test, test, one, two, three. And I'm about five feet away from the camera. Kyle is holding uh, the camera right now and I'm going to assume that the signal is pretty strong. So now I'm going to switch over to the audio uh, from this transmitter that's uh, clipped on me right now. There is a lav mic hidden underneath my shirt. Ironically, I'm using a Rode lav mic. <laughs> but hey, it's a lav mic, that's all I had, and so we're just gonna use it. And this is what the audio sounds like with the wind blowing against me here in downtown Dallas. Test, test, one, two, three. Test, test, one, two, three. Going back to the transmitter with the windscreen. Test, test, one, two, three. Test, test, one, two, three. And then finally back to the audio with the lav mic. Test, test, one, two, three. Three. All right, let's talk specs. Both the receiver and transmitters have a clean interface that's easy to understand and operate, and the receiver has a touchscreen interface to quickly change any settings you desire. Also on the receiver is a USB-C port to charge and connect to your computer, as well as a headphone jack so that you can monitor audio as you are filming. The range on these mics is 250 meters unobstructed, and you'll see a range test later in the video, but in the event that you do lose connectivity, you can actually relink the entire system by placing the transmitters and receiver back in the charging case. That that is very handy. And for situations where you do lose connectivity, you can actually record audio directly on the transmitters. The transmitters have eight gigabytes of internal storage, meaning you have 14 hours of record time. And if you want, you can use the transmitters as a standalone mic to record voiceovers, kind of like this. To record audio on the transmitter, simply press the record button once and press it again to stop recording. Also, when you record audio on the transmitters, you are actually recording a safety track at negative six decibels, which is really helpful in case the audio that you record on your camera is a bit too hot. And if you want to retrieve the audio from the transmitters, simply plug it into your computer with the USB-C cable and grab your audio files like a hard drive. It's that easy. And honestly, the entire DJI mic system is easy to use straight out of the box. Now, I, I much prefer using a lav mic connected to myself or the subject, and then that connected to the transmitter and then transmitter connected to the, the receiver and camera, but you can record audio with the transmitter itself. So right now the audio that you are hearing is from the transmitter and you can actually connect it to yourself really easy by using this magnetic square right over here. Let me just get it out. It's a pretty strong magnet too. All right, all right, so here is the, the magnet. And uh, what you do to connect it to yourself is you put the magnetic square behind your shirt and then connect the rest of the lav mic like so. Now this is actually a cool way to connect the transmitter to yourself, but the only thing I don't like about this setup is that depending on the, the strength of your shirt, the, the whole mic can actually pull down your shirt. So I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of that, but just, just so you're aware. Now, if you're wondering what the audio is like compared to the Rode Wireless Go 2, we're gonna test it out right now. And uh, by default, whenever I turn on the Rode Wireless Go 2 transmitter, it'll start to record audio right away, which I guess is kind of cool, but I like using the record button on the DJI mic way better. Uh, all right, audio test, here we go. This is the audio coming from the DJI mic. Test, test, one, two, three. Test, test, one, two, three. This is what the audio sounds like. Now we're gonna go to the Rode Wireless Go 2, and here's what the audio sounds like. Test, test, one, two, three. Test, test, one, two, three. Wow, it's not even windy too. So there you go, perfect audio comparison. All right, well, just for kicks and giggles, we're gonna compare the audio between the DJI mic and my vlog mic, which is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. All right, here we go. Test, test, one, two, three. Audio test, one, two, three. Test, test, one, two, three. Audio test, one, two, three. There is a yellow truck driving by. Don't know if you can hear it. It's a little bit windy, but this is the audio test. First impressions in terms of like first time use, I would say that the DJI mic is really easy to use, very intuitive. Uh, it really is just plug and play. And so yeah, I really appreciate that. I'm sure a lot of consumers will appreciate that. Now we're doing a distance test. We're gonna see how far we can use these mics uh, oh, I almost fell. We're gonna see how far we can use these mics. Uh, Kyle is standing right over there. I'm walking backwards. I'm about, what, 50 feet away from him now? And I'm gonna turn my back 
and uh, hopefully the audio will be fine and I'll probably make it to the end of the street. But for my use, I probably won't be using the mics like that. I'll probably just be using it for like interviews or, or whatever. But, uh, but yeah, it'll be a fun distance test and Man, hopefully I won't get I won't get robbed. Now in the range test, the audio did cut off, especially when I was behind the brick structure. But like I said before, I can record audio directly on the transmitters, which is a great way to back up your audio just in case you do lose connectivity. Uh, there's like this brick uh, structure over here. I'm gonna go behind it, and hopefully we can still hear the audio. Test test one two three. There's like this brick uh, structure over here. I'm gonna go behind it, and hopefully we can still hear the audio. Test, test, one, two, three. The really cool thing about these transmitters is that you can record a safety audio track on the transmitter. Usually I describe the audio being recorded from the receiver and the camera, but just in case your audio is a little bit too hot, you can actually grab the audio from the transmitter and use that instead. It actually records an audio track at negative six decibels, so that's really cool, but now we're gonna hear an audio comparison between the audio captured on the transmitter versus the audio captured on the camera. All right, test, test, one, two, three, test, test, one, two, three. Audio comparison between the transmitter and the audio captured on the camera. Which one is better? I don't know. All right, so now we're gonna speak a little bit louder. Hopefully I'm not disturbing anybody because this is a co-working space. So apologies if you are hearing this. Everyone's on lunch, so hopefully people are out of the office. But yeah, just wanted to test it out. All right, I should probably go. People are looking at me. Ah, oh, it's so weird. All right, so now we're gonna test out the DJI mic in an actual practical setting. So for those of you that want their voice recorded like in a crowd and stuff like that, we're gonna, we're gonna test it out and, and see how the audio sounds. So. Oh, by the way, this is Coffee and Traders, a little cool coffee community event that, uh, that my wife started where every month or every other month, you know, a bunch of creatives gather into a, into a coffee house and we just, we just talk, talk and chat. Is your goal to be full-time YouTube? I think eventually. Yeah? That's awesome. The best part about coffee and creators is like just having people just meet up for the first time and just connecting. And like even like seeing some pictures of, of, of uh, people doing projects together. Like, oh, love that. Oh, sorry. That was a, that was a mic. Okay, so we're inside and I'm going to, we're gonna talk and then I'm gonna hand this mic to the people around. They can ask their questions. That way y'all can hear the audio from both ends. Uh, okay, cool. Hi, hi y'all. This is, uh, this is, this is great. So right. I was just uh, thinking, um, what's your favorite breakfast? Uh, cereal. C cereal? All okay, of them. Okay, but what kind of cereal though? Because that's important. Rice Krispie Treats, they don't make them okay. anymore. So one thing that has helped me mm, okay. is the last, I don't know, like four or five weeks, I get up in the morning and I exercise. I do something first, even if it's just like walking or lifting weights or just something to feel like I've expended some energy. I'm more so glad you said that because I was going to yeah. talk about that for the next thing, like just yeah. physically preparing yourself. Yeah. So you probably do a better job than I, uh, than I do because uh, I don't like exercising or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's it for me as far as like, you know, practical tips, like those three things. Uh, definitely try it out. And the next Coffee and Creators, I'd love to hear how your workflow has changed, improved, or maybe not improved. I don't know. All right, so there is a drone flying above us. <laughs> I was gonna uh, film a segment of just like how you can use the transmitter mics as like a man on the street kind of microphone. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna narrate what's happening right now. There is a, there is a, a, a DJI product, a drone up there. I think, is that the three? No, it's a two, Air 2S, right? Air. So it's, a, it's the DJI Air 2S flying above us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a review on the DJI mic. It's just, it's just funny to me. But yeah, you can use this mic as a man on the street kind of microphone. <laughs> Ooh, you could probably use this for voiceovers too. That's cool. So final thoughts. I think the DJI mic is my new favorite wireless lav system. It's very easy to use straight out of the box and I barely had to change any of the settings. As you saw in the video, these mics were very versatile. The audio quality was very impressive too. I mean, it sounded very clean in every situation that I was in. And the safety audio track was very helpful because when I was filming this scene and lost audio, I just pulled the safety track from the transmitter and still was able to get clean audio. Now I know this video wasn't really a comparison against the Rode Wireless Go 2. I think that's a great wireless system as well, but I think DJI really knocked it out of the park with these mics. They sound good, they were super easy to use. I love the design, the versatility, the charging case. I love everything about this system, which is why it is my new favorite wireless lav system. All right, well that is the DJI mic wireless lav system. It's really cool, I really dig it. If you wanna check it out, links will be down below. Huge thanks to DJI for sponsoring this video. Huge thanks to Kyle for helping me film. And thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all those good things down below, and I'll see you in the next one.